Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are going to cover stream processing, what it is and how it differs from batch processing. So far we have been processing data with batch processing approach. Batch processing is a method of running repetitive high volume data jobs in a group on ad hoc or scheduled basis. Simply put, data is collected, stored and then processed at a regular interval usually at the end of the day. A common scenario is a data warehouse ETL job. Every night we extract data from our source application database. Let's just say AdventureWorks. We transform this data and then load it into our warehouse. So we process data at a 24 hour interval, which means there's a latency of a day. Our data warehouse data is one day behind than our source system. In the batch processing, we process all the data, be it customer and their transactions, product and their details together. We link to all tables and process all the data at the end of the day. Batch processing is an efficient way to process large amount of data. And this data is collected over a period of time. In this scenario, 24 hours. Data is processed during offline hours that gives data engineers complete control as to when to start the processing, which usually happens overnight. Stream processing, on the other hand, is a method of syncing data from a source to a destination as the transactions are taking place at the source. We process data as it happens in the source. The latency is very low, usually in seconds. So we can say that stream processing is a real-time data processing method. For example, let's take AdventureWorks company. A customer makes a bike purchase. The transaction records are persisted in the underlying database that is supporting the application. Simultaneously, our stream processing engine takes this transaction and pushes it to a destination database. The data is processed as the events are taking place in the source. This method of continuous computation happens as the data flows through the system with no enforced time limitation on the output. With almost the instance flow, system do not require large amount of data to be stored. Stream processing is highly beneficial if the events you wish to track are happening frequently and close together in time. This method is suitable if the events need to be detected right away and responded to quickly. Stream processing is extremely useful for tasks like fraud detection and cybersecurity. If the transaction data is stream processed, fraudulent transactions can be identified and stopped before they even complete. If we close the examine batch versus stream processing, we can conclude that batch processing collects data over time and sends it for processing once collected. It is generally meant for large data quantities that are not time sensitive. Stream processing continuously collects data and processes it fast, piece by piece, and is typically meant for data needed immediately. With batch processing, data is collected in batches and then fed into an analytics system. A batch is a group of data points collected within a given time period, 24 hours in our case. Unlike stream processing, Batch processing does not immediately feed data into an analytic system. So the results are not available in real time. With batch processing, some type of storage is required to load the data, such as a database or file system. Batch processing is ideal for very large data sets and projects that involve deeper data analysis. This method is not desirable for projects that involve speed or real time results. Additionally, many legacy systems only support batch processing. This often forces teams to use batch processing. In terms of performance, batch processing is optimal when the data has already been collected. Let's look at a concrete example of batch processing. Each day, AdventureWorks retailer keeps track of overall revenue across all stores. Instead of processing every purchase in real time, the AdventureWorks processes the batches of each store's daily revenue total at the end of the day. With stream processing, 
Data is fed into an analytic system piece by piece as soon as it is generated. Instead of processing a batch of data over time, stream processing feeds each data point or micro batch directly into an analytics platform. This allows teams to produce key insights in real time. Stream processing is ideal for projects that require speed and nimbleness. However, the method is less relevant for projects with high data volumes or deep data analysis. When coupled with platforms such as Apache Kafka, Apache Flink, AWS Kinesis, stream processing quickly generates key insights so teams can make decision quickly and efficiently. Stream processing is also primed for non-stop data sources, along with fraud detection. I hope this lays a good foundation of the stream processing. In the upcoming videos, we will use Apache Kafka along with PySpark to stream data from Postgres to Kafka. We will cover Kafka setup next, so stay tuned. This is all on stream processing for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.